So TLDR for everyone, anyone who wasn't here yesterday, uh, the long and short is this is a mod that get, makes Vice City really hard and I'm going to beat it, hopefully. So last time we did, um, we did all of the gang missions in downtown and we've done about half of the story so far. The current only mission I have unlocked is Sir Yes Sir, but I think I also have unlocked Auto Side. I'm just a few calls behind, I think. So that's just the call that you get from Auntie Paule after you complete her missions. And I think um, the next one should be Mr. Black for the auto side call. So we'll do that before we uh, before we continue. Hey demo, what's up, man? Already making excuses. Okay, instant snow. I like that. You have very little time. Five minutes. Deluxo. A deluxo might be better. To be honest, oh my goodness, in this weather. Mike Griffin is working, what did that say? Apartment building roof, okay. So he's been moved. He's all the way up there? Or is he on like the balcony? Holy shit, I see him. I only have one bullet with the sniper, you fucker! Now how am I gonna kill this guy? Fuck! I didn't know I only had one bullet. Ah, oh, shit. Um... Think, Ben, think. Oh my god, my mind is going completely blank. Okay, let me think. Helicopter? Where's the nearest helicopter? I don't have access to this one. I feel like the... Like, the only helicopter I can get is, like, here. And that's so far away. More sniper rifle? I can't think of where I could get a sniper rifle. I can get one from the mall, but that's way too far away. I can get one from the bridge here, but that is also way too far away. This ammunition doesn't have one. Uh, I think I'm just screwed. <laughs> But I mean, the only thing I can think of is grabbing either a sniper or a helicopter. And they're both all the way at the furthest northern point of the map, so... Either way, I think I'm screwed and I don't have enough time, but... We'll count this as a test run. Oops, I looked away for a second and almost sunk myself, that would've been great. We can, uh, we can use this as a... A tactical, um... What's the word? A, a tactical regroup. We'll we'll grab a helicopter, we'll grab some guns. Is the helicopter even here? No, it's not. I don't remember when that spawns. I think it's later on in the game. Okay, just a sniper rifle then. I could get the VCN heli, I suppose. Might be useful. But sniper rifle is what I want. Yeah, intel gathering, exactly. Am I winning, son? No. <laughs> what is that? You, you good, bro? Uh, I'm gonna go and grab the VTN heli as well. Because there's no way I'm beating this mission in two minutes. Like, regardless, because the mission is just that long anyway. Yeah, we'll grab a helicopter and a sniper rifle. And honestly, I feel like we can't really go far wrong if we have those things. Unless... The mod has removed the VCN heli, in which case I'm going to be really upset. You bastard. <laughs> I had a feeling you might have done that. Okay, just a sniper rifle it is then. We'll go and grab our uh, extra bullet just in case we need it. Nice. I was thinking for a second um, that Rob might have um, just set your ammo to one instead of, you know, plus one, but no, not as evil as I think. 
Okay. The shot shouldn't be that hard if I just take a second. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, he's already spotted me, but I was able to kill him, so... Okay, is he enough? I don't know if anything was different there, apart from maybe he spots you from further away, I want to say. Not too sure. I felt like his, uh, his radius was a little bit different, but aside from that, they seemed fine. These guys usually are busted as fuck anyway, so... Okay. They've seen you, well they're already both dead. And I'm busted because, look at that! Two cops perfectly sandwich me in as another one spawns and instantly busts me because my dog got knocked off. Wow. But yeah, I haven't noticed any changes for the second and third guy so far. Again, aside from the second one seeming to aggro a bit earlier, that's it. They still seem very easy to deal with. Oh, I might be a bit close, I forgot about this guy. Oh, that's fine. I suppose also the instant two stars it's doesn't happen in the original. But, hmm. You usually end up with two stars on this mission anyway, eventually. Oh, I, I think I understand what you've done now. Yeah, okay, I, I understand. So you've made it so you can't go alongside him this way. Because if you do, he spots you from further away. I understand. So you have to go from the north in order to snipe him. Yeah. This makes sense. It's quite a smart change because it's so subtle, but it makes it quite a lot harder. But it's not like, oh, he has a minigun and he instant kills you, you know? Like, it's it's a smart change. And he also seems to be driving really fast, too, considering the size of his vehicle. I think if I if I trigger this guy, I might just be screwed because I just don't have enough time to deal with him, catch him. I don't even know how I'm gonna kill him. Like it's not like I can drive by him or anything. Like it's taken me like two minutes to catch him, and then there's not a lot I can do because he's in such an armored vehicle. I don't have the weaponry to take him out. And it seems like his vehicle's heavy. Yeah, it is. So I can't run him off the road either. Yeah, okay. That's a good change. That's a that's a really smart change. Because it looks like he's barely different, and he isn't. But he, he's basically unkillable if you trigger him. Just as a result of, like, all the different factors at once. Okay, lesson learned. Trigger that guy from the north. Or actually, don't trigger him at all. So the first time, I thought I messed up, but I actually did the right thing and I didn't even know it. Does the snow ever end? It will end eventually, but the thing is, is because I keep starting the mission, when uh, this mission, I assume, is coded to set the weather too snowy to make it more difficult. So because I keep restarting the mission, it keeps setting the weather cycle to snowy over and over again, which is why it seems infinite. But yeah, it will end eventually, I'm pretty sure. I'll go this way this time and snipe him as usual, I think. So I've just got to be quick, because as soon as I get into even sniper range, as soon as I'm in like his field of view, he's already... like, here is good. There we go. And I would have got instantly busted there again by the fucking insane cops pulling up right next to me. Like, look at this shit. I have two stars, and there's like 18 different cops. 
Make that 19 different cops all coming at me from like every angle. It's crazy. Huh. Again, no clue what's different with those third guys because I'm just killing them as normal and nothing seems to be different. Uh, this guy is slightly off where he usually is. He seems to be on the land even by the looks of it. Maybe I'm wrong, it's kind of hard to tell on the map sometimes. But usually he's chilling on a boat out here. Now it seems that he's uh, on the thing down here. Where is he? No, he is on the boat. On the boat, sorry. Oh, he's still there. Okay. Again, slightly moot position, but very normal otherwise. Now this guy is the hardest guy usually to kill. Because he sees you like through walls and... Like he, he's coded as just like a proximity based thing. Like he'll spot you when you get within a certain distance. But like even if you're through a building he can spot you. It's just one of those things. So we'll see. He should have spotted me by now. There we go. This time he's in a Deluxo. And he's already crashed. <laughs> yeah, he wall hacks basically. Yeah. Okay. I've got two minutes to kill this guy, so I should be good. I'm in a decent enough car to catch his ass. This is where a PCJ would be super good. Is this car heavy or can I just T-bone him? I can just spin him out. Easy enough. Nice. Yeah, that, that, it definitely feels like that used to be a lot harder and got nerfed, because, yeah, that wasn't led that difficult at all. The only thing that makes it difficult is the fucking police. That's it. Like, because the police are just nonsense during that mission. But the, uh, the change of the... The change of that second guy, that subtle little change, is very smart. That's one of the best changes I've seen so far. Because unless you, like, you're familiar with the mechanics already, it doesn't look like it's that different, but it's like, it's, you know, it's mission ending if you get it wrong. Which is really cool. It feels so weird to drive on normal ground now. Yeah, so this mission is usually very trivial, so... I assume none of my methods are gonna work. Let's, uh, let's see. So usually, you just gun down this guy. And you just steal the tank. In the colonel's lockup before it self-destructs. Where do they want it? What the fuck? Okay, you want it in the Copland garage? Okay, I see you. We've got a bit of a trek with us. Five stars is going to make this quite tricky as well. Also, uh, did you did you remove the uh, yeah the text string? I was going to say, was that intentional? I assume not. I've now got six stars. Okay. Luckily, I'm in a tank, so tanks aren't a threat to me. Okay. This seems fine, though. I'm not really in much danger since I'm in a tank, and I've got more than enough time to get there. Wow, they didn't blow up. Okay, that's interesting. Do they not blow up when you hit them, those convoy things? Are there no bribes? There are bribes, but I don't need them. Alright. Oh, they do blow up. That first one just didn't for some reason. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. That's strange. I might fail this now purely because of the fact that that, um, that that convoy didn't blow up when it should have done. And again, unless it's coded in, which I very much doubt it, that's nothing to do with the game. Uh, sorry, the mod. That's just the game bugging out. Okay. Am I good? And I still passed. Nice. This is also scaled back. Yeah, it makes sense. 
But again, Rob, like, don't get me wrong. Just because, like, somebody beats a mission first try, it doesn't mean that it, like, it needs to be made harder, you know? Because then you get sort of stuck in a cycle where it's like, oh, somebody beat it, it's too easy. Somebody beat it again, it's too easy. And then eventually you make ones like Phnom Penh where it's, like, stupidly brutal, you know, for the, just for the sake of it. Okay, are we still going to the scrapyard? Yes, we are. Uh, okay, let's get going to the scrapyard. I should have grabbed like a PCJ or something. Make this a bit faster. But, oh. We can do it in a Sentinel. The time looks to be the same. So I assume it's more about the people inside the compound that have been changed. We'll see. Because I do have more than enough time to get there even in even without a helicopter or anything. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, that guy is an innocent guy, sorry. I thought he was one of the uh, the baddies. Okay. I'll be honest, I haven't done this mission intentionally in so long that I have no idea what is supposed to happen. Like, I have no clue what guns he's supposed to have. This all feels normal. None of this feels buffed. I'm pretty sure some of the guys have Krugers. I'm pretty sure that's normal. I'm pretty sure most of them have SMGs. This all, this all feels pretty normal to me. Yeah, that feels yes. that feels very normal. Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. We'll see. And now I hear a guy with an M60 somewhere. There he is. Maybe he was to stop you leaving in a helicopter. I assume. Like if you tried to get in a heli and fly away, he would just kill you. That would be my guess. Can I get through this instead of being stuck on my own door, please? Thank you. Or a bumper or whatever it was. Okay, this hole feels normal as well. My guess is the big thing is that to stop you cheesing it with a helicopter, that M60 guy was placed there. Aside from that... Like, if you do it the intended way, it seems normal. Random tank waiting for you at the hospital. Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. There's st certainly something waiting for me. Okay, Lance. You come here. And you just chill. And, uh, let me fight these guys. Uh oh. I couldn't see anything because of the fucking bushes and they just one tapped lance brilliant okay Th the trouble is is that i wanted to just like wait you know i wanted to just pick them off with a sniper but i was conscious that the comet guys were chasing me and they would just run over lance so i wanted to get lance out of the way but then he ended up getting shot anyway yeah but yeah that was my fault i should have known better I should have just killed them normally because I was so far ahead of the Comet guys that they weren't even a threat. I should have just gone for it. Like I, I should have just st stuck to my original plan. Just drove into the marker on fire? That's also not a bad idea. Yeah, like, would, would they even kill you in time? I'm interested to see one if the police helicopter is there, first of all. Oops, okay. He was driving way faster than I thought he was. Uh, how the fuck do you even get to the police heli? I never use this helicopter, so I barely remember where it is. Stairs somewhere there. Yeah, one, if the police heli is there. And two, if you can just kill that guy, the M60 dude, and then just fly and land anyway. Well, the thing is... Frostwolf, is that I'm pretty sure the M60 guy doesn't spawn right away. I'm pretty sure he spawns afterwards. At least I didn't hear him the first time. We'll find out. Maybe there's other guys that I didn't see, but 
He only started shooting at me once I was leaving, so I should just be able to kill him in theory and fly out with no problems. But, yeah, I don't know. There might be other guys, or he might be there the whole time, I'm not sure. And there isn't really an easy way to check that isn't just flinging myself at him and see what happens. Oh, I, do, I see him, actually. He's there. You guys see him? Or at least there's a guy there. Hold on. Uh, let me go on this roof. I can see one of them. That's him, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Is there just one, is the question. Or is there several? Also, I like how this was put in, probably just to annoy people, because that isn't usually there. Hey, look at that. The guys at the end never spawn, because I guess I never triggered them. I thought they would spawn now, because I triggered the Comet guys. Are the, are the triggers different, I guess? Lance is saved, I guess. Yeah, I thought they would have spawned as soon as I landed, but I guess not. I guess they're two separate triggers and I didn't hit the second one. I am OGT3 Toughened was more creative. This one is like, let's give five stars in three quarter of the missions. Uh, don't get me wrong, this mod definitely has a problem with throwing wanted stars at you. But I don't know if GTA3 Toughened was more creative. Uh, okay, no, I'm going to take that back. You're absolutely correct, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good thing, right? Because GTA 3 Toughened was more creative. I think Line 8 did a lot of really cool things with the code. But the problem is, is they weren't properly tested. So the mod is like, oh my god. Okay. Lance just got put within an inch of his life. Within like two seconds. Maybe best if you... Can I abandon Lance? I think he's going to follow me no matter what, isn't he? Oh no, wait. Can he just chill there? Okay, good. He's just chilling. Good. Hmm. I don't think I can clip... Yeah. Got tired of people phasing through the wall. Yeah, I don't think I can clip through this. Oh, hi, Lance. Even Lance is trying to clip through. <laughs> Do you see that? He tried to jump into it. Uh, but yeah, so Toughened was more creative, but it was a it was really poor in terms of, like, balance. Like, the creative stuff doesn't work when it's not fun to play. You know? That's my biggest thing. Also, I think I'm just fucked here, because someone is going to hit Lance eventually. Because, he, yeah, he is just running on his own accord. Stop! Lance! All I can really do is sort of speedrun ahead and hope I kill everyone before one of them pops Lance. Try and tank the bullets for him. Diaz must be inside! I'm also very low on health. And I would heal, but I don't quite have the chance to, because if I heal, Lance will run in and die. So that's a problem. Hopefully I can just, like, he just waits. Oh, and I'm dead. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's gonna be very difficult because Lance is just going to run and I'm just going to have to tank all the hits for him. There's not really a lot I can do that I can think of. Having armor would help, but it should be fine, I think. This way. I'm your worst nightmare. Okay, okay, Tommy. See, look. Lance is just going to run in and get himself killed. I need to sprint ahead of him. So it basically becomes like a foot race between me and fucking Lance. Basically. Like, memorize the spawns and just run in before he does. 
Oh yeah, good. Run the other way. Good. Keep doing that. And hopefully he doesn't die. Head me, boys. Diaz! It's a big gun, Diaz. Time to take over your business. Tommy, you betrayed me, you idiot. I'm gonna kill you real soon. And Lance just gets one hit from somewhere. I, what can I do? How do I stop him from just getting insta-killed? Like, am I gonna have to kill everyone? I guess everyone inside? Like, there's only so much I can do to stop him just dying immediately. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you. Just in case that guy shoots Lance. I don't think he would, but... Like, this is the strat, legit. Just sprint ahead and kill everyone while you can. Leave him outside, drive over. Driving over is not a bad idea, but I don't think it's worth it. I think this might be a better thing of literally just... What the fuck? Am I inside or outside now? Wait, what? Did, did you guys see that? Am I going nuts? Did I just, like... Fuck, fuck things up somehow. <laughs> okay, let's keep fighting up. Okay, I... Two guys with M60s on the stairs. Oh, because I warped out due to failing. Right, yeah. There's health somewhere on these grounds, but I don't quite remember where it is. Again, if I just did this with full health and armor, I'd be fine. But I'm lazy. I can't be bothered to go and get it. Like, what the fuck? I was literally, like, shooting that guy as soon as I could. And I still took so much fucking damage. Is there health in here? No, not yet. Like... Other side. Other side of what? Like, can you be a bit more specific? Oh, it's left. Ah, yes. I know where that is now. Do you mean here? Hello! Yes, you do mean there. Okay, good to know. But yeah, like... <laughs> Just go right lol, or go left lol, doesn't really help too much. That guy three hit me, I was on a hundred health, like what the fuck? Like, how do I fight through all of these dudes so easily and then lose a 1v1? Hey look, if Lance stays like that, then I can take my time. But he's not going to, because that piece of shit teleports, I know he does. Like look at that, cross maps me, half health. That it's like so inconsistent. Sometimes they just completely whiff and you can just face tank them. And sometimes they just laser you from across the fucking map. It's so weird. Isn't there a vest under the stairs? Only after this mission. It's not there right now, sadly. Otherwise I would happily pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna try and fight upstairs. I'm gonna be as careful as I can. Is there really no more guys here? Okay. I thought there would be more guys. Now I'm just gonna try and kill everyone. So there's less chance of Lance dying. Oh, there's a PCJ there. Okay. Yeah. 
I've come to take over your business. Tommy, you betrayed me, you idiot. Diaz is getting shot already. Fuck, I didn't quite kill him. I'm gonna try and get on this and hope. Wait, Diaz doesn't shoot me. If you're on a bike, he doesn't shoot you. Is that, is that like, does that also happen in the, the original? Or is that just, yeah. This is definitely how property ownership works. True. Okay, cool. Hey, look at my suit. I look sick. Wait, I've got shades on. Did I see that right? Oh, hell yeah. Look at me. Hell yeah. I'll definitely need to look more into that mission. Because, uh... That seems like one of the trickier ones. And it's... It, I feel like I just kind of winged it, you know? Oh, hello. Remember the name. The shop owners aren't too happy with me, it seems. The windows feel consistent. Have they been patched? Actually, I'm not too sure anymore. Oh god. Where does that guy come from? I don't know. I can't see him, so I'm just gonna run. <laughs> Give me some armor. Some armor, some nades, sniper rifle, fuck it, why not? We've got some money. I don't think I need to care about these guys. But they're definitely not patched. I run this town now. Shotguns everywhere. Okay. Six stars. Nice. I just bought guns, otherwise I would have death warped. Alright, let's uh let's try and get back to Cortez. <laughs> How far do you reckon we make it? What are the chances of me getting to the Payne's for I wonder? It's not too far away. Hello. Easy. Okay, let's see what this one is like. Usually this mission is a complete joke, so. Four stars. Seems Vice City's finest has spotted cause of his yacht fleeing the country. What did that say? My game crashed. <laughs> Trying to <laughs> look at the... I, I pressed the crash the game button and my game finally crashed. It only took like... 10 attempts? I didn't read what it said. Oh, I was saying. Intended feature. Yeah. Hey, at least I don't have six stars anymore. That's the point. In runs, you could just load the autosave immediately and lose six stars. That's huge brain. If you want to be a big baby about it. Hey, it's not about being a baby. It's about being fast. Okay. And loading the save and skipping the pain spray. Fast. I mean, technically... The fastest thing would be to not load the save and just drive back to Cortez, you know? Just all the way across the map with six stars, but... Taking two seconds to load the game to make it way more consistent makes a lot more sense. To me, anyway. These guys have a lot of guns. Aside from that, it all seems fairly normal. And the police heli, of course, but the police heli is legit no threat at all. There's those guys, but can they even really shoot me? 
They're punching. Do they have snipers? Are they trying to snipe me? It looks like they're trying to snipe me, but can't. I wonder if you have to kill them to avoid getting fucked over later on when you try and drive through this. Who knows? Oh, they are sniping just using the wrong, uh, wrong animation. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure you can make people snipe in this, right? Like, that is something you can do. Do not endanger the yacht, okay. Okay, well that's, that's a nerf, if anything. Because they're way easier to destroy when they're hunters. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I don't want to endanger the yacht. Uh. Okay, good. Is that it? If so, that mission is actually easier than usual. Interesting. That mission is actually nerfed. In terms of... Uh, in terms of... Well, not difficulty. It's still harder. But in terms of, like, how easy it is to complete the mission, it's actually easier. Because shooting down the helis in the second part is way easier. And the first bit isn't any more difficult, it's just the same. Okay, let's go and do, um, Love Fist. Because fuck the main story. I'm going to do all the side missions first. Sue me. Do you see <laughs> fucking what's his name? Fucking Percy or Pauly or Ding Dong or whatever his name is, just like clip through the uh, thing. No, I've never seen that. Again, that might be in the original. I have no idea. I don't watch these cutscenes anymore. Okay. Looking for something special? I got what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker. <laughs> GTA Definitive. Thanks for the money. <laughs> okay. Can't just drive by him off a bike. He said he's in a cracked Sabre Turbo. We're in a PCJ, so... Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. Is he bulletproof? Maybe? I forget how you can tell if a car is bulletproof. Oh, I've already, I've already lo lost him, okay. How do you know if a car's bulletproof? Anyone know? Isn't it like you can't like break the windows and stuff? Isn't that like the one way to tell? Because you can't shoot it, but I, I can shoot that car. It just doesn't do any damage. But like my bullets hit. Doesn't it have like a white little spark when it's bulletproof? What, when you shoot the uh... When you shoot the car, you mean it like sparks? Doesn't that happen anyway? Let me test. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, we'll, we'll see. I guess. If the love juice gets blown up, its mission failed. Oh, true. Yeah. I didn't think about that. You might be right. It, well, his thing's breaking, so he's definitely not all proof. But he might just be in collision. Might be able to take collision damage. I oh, know, it seems to. That doesn't happen. The spark thing. Maybe he just has a lot of health. I don't know. Yeah, he does. He just has a lot of health. He's not bulletproof. But we'll see. He might blow up and I might fail the mission. Yeah. Okay. I forgot that fail condition was even a thing, to be honest. Okay, so we need to get him out of the car. Okay. Uh, for that, I'm going to use my own car. There's a good strategy you can use if you want to get somebody out of a vehicle. And what you basically do is you basically box them in and then hijack them. I used to do this quite a lot in Shiner Vice because there's quite a lot of similar missions where you have to get people out of the car. 
you basically drive alongside them and just keep slowly edging into them until they're forced to like either stop or like ram into something. My own car steals a cop car. You know what I meant. I have so many calls. Holy shit. That's a lot of them, thankfully. Why does that dude have a car? Doesn't he have a bike in the normal game? Yes. I'm not playing the normal game. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I need a car that isn't a cop car. This'll do. <laughs> I'll just play another. This guy's thought of everything. Okay, let's see how this works. So what you basically do is you just box him in like this. Oh. Uh, well, that wasn't quite what I wanted, but it works. <laughs> That works, I guess. <laughs> so, all that you do, guys, okay, hear me out, right? All that you do is you just make him glitch into the ground and then kill him. It's easy. Trust me. Okay. In this next segment, there's usually quite a tight time limit. And I imagine it's going to be even tighter in the mod. So I'm going to get a PCJ, because it has a much higher top speed, even in rain, than the Stinger does. How the fuck am I supposed to plan for that? Honestly, I've never seen that happen before on that mission, so I have no idea. I couldn't even tell you what caused it. Did he hit, like, the, the little, like, barriers? You know, that, like, block off the alleyway and he just, like, ramped off them? I have no idea. I feel like that is a just a one in a million thing that you'll never see again. I got very lucky. But my strategy would have worked anyway. Copium. I'm confident it would have turned out the same way regardless. But, yeah. Because he normally uses a bike. True. Alright. Fuck you, Pazanet. Oh, well, actually, Englishman, he actually uses a different vehicle, so it's impossible that that exact scenario would have happened before, because that exact scenario never happened. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Looked like he climbed your car and the back of his car got stuck, welded into the floor. Yeah, maybe. Okay, let's see. Get the little juice for the need on stage. A minute. I have no idea what the normal time limit is, but I feel like a minute is less than normal, so let's go. In rain too, which makes it even more difficult. A minute 30? That sounds about right. I feel like I can do this in a minute though, I don't feel like that's that difficult. Especially with a PCJ, with a Stinger it might have been more tricky, but... It doesn't take 30 seconds to get to the end of this road. Unless I eat shit. I don't know why I went so fast over that. Okay, give me this bike. Give me the bike! Yes! Mercedes, get on! I think I've still made this. Come on! Stop in the marker! No! You no! Know! Fuck! <laughs> no! Fuck! No! That was so close! I was about to like flex and be like, oh no, it's fine, guys. Even if you fall off, you can still make it in time, lol. And now it doesn't work because I didn't make it in time, lol. Fuck. Uh, give me a decent car. That's a stallion. I thought that was a, uh, a banshee. Or a phoenix. The admiral is probably better than the blister. The blister is faster, but it's not nearly strong enough. Yeah, I didn't factor in the snowy condition slowing down. Fuck. Hey! Give me the... Give me this car that I stole from you back. Okay, so now all I've got to do is just glitch him into the floor again. 
Yeah, so the strategy is just basically park in front of him until he gets stuck somewhere. Usually an alleyway is great. Like that. There you go. See? Works every time. Wait. I didn't think about this. Okay, there we go. Outplayed. <laughs> A fucking dunked on his ass. I framed him. Wait, I just realized as well. So right now it's not snowing. So that snowing was actually random. And I got screwed. I would have made it if not for that randomness. God, I'm so unlucky. Ignore the fact that I fell off the bike and it was completely my fault. God, I'm so unlucky, guys. Nothing, literally nothing I could have done to not fail that mission last time. But that's time. That's fine. This time, I'm going to do it with like 20 seconds to spare, dude. Trust me. Because this game is so easy. You absolute fucking losers. Don't even suck up. Don't, don't even like understand. Look at that. Huge jump. To skip going back down the ramp. Like, this is how you you speedrun through these missions. Stuff like that. You know? You guys can't even comprehend how fucking millisecond perfect, frame perfect, sub-pixel perfect that jump is. But I do it every time because I'm just that good. Look at that, dude. So easy. Look at that. Look, I can just... Oh, oh this mission's so easy. Oh. 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 oh, I guess I'll head into the market now. Easy game. So easy. Never played an easier game in my life. There's two of them. Oh my god, okay. Do I need to be in this car? No, I don't. Okay, that's good to know. I'm probably going to swap this car for something else, because it's kind of shit. But I don't really want to lose them either. A uh, cop car would be perfect. Just don't lose them. Okay. Now, how do I kill that guy on the back? Is the question. Okay, they are just... Okay, I didn't expect them to just drive like that. That kind of threw me off. Okay, I need a new cop car. <laughs> Give me this. Oh my god, they sniped me from that far away. What the fuck? Okay, never mind. I don't have time. Get this cop car again. Oh god, what do I do about this? Um, if they snipe from that fucking far away... Okay, here's my chance. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you! Yeah! 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 Uh. Suck it. And you! God, I'm just sniping everyone. That new ramp near Contezes, did you see what it was when you nearly hit it before? What do you mean what it was? The, the one around the back of the hospital, you mean? I didn't really pay too much attention to it, I'll be honest. Should I go back to it? It's a new asset, you might like it. Okay, let's go and check it out. It's quite a detour, but I trust that it's worth my time. I didn't necessarily mean right now. Well, I did. So, fucking sue me. I don't care if I'm at the complete opposite side of the map. Oh my god. <laughs> Casey threw Memorial Ramp, who sadly drowned here trying to go fast. <laughs> that is really cool. I love that. I didn't even see it before. I just didn't even think about it. That's brilliant. That is so good. I'll have to show. I'll have to show through that. These boys aren't hanging around. 
Better get going, okay? <laughs> okay, luckily these guys still seem to be able to, you know, still seem to have no clue how to drive, but also same, apparently, because I somehow missed that checkpoint. So I might fail this now. We'll see. At least their first place guy seems to... Where is he? There's so many bikes on the ground. Where's first place? He's like fucking smurfing. There he is. I oh, never mind, he's not smurfing. <laughs> he's driving backwards. Okay. Just need to not hit a spike strip. That would be the fucking worst. Or a roadblock. Don't hit those either. Because I can't really slow down in time with this bike in the rain. Okay, I think I'm good. Nice. Fill the chaos meter. Okay. Fuck! <laughs> Why would he do that? He's trying to get away from me. Why would he do a U-turn into me? What the fuck? Dude. Ah, oh, I would have first tried that one too. Asshole. I've only got a minute as well, but that's more than enough time. I don't need a minute to do this. Okay. Let's try again, shall we? I'm not hitting the car, though. Yeah, this mission, that mission is hard enough as it is when you're playing casually. Doing that with just a minute will be stupidly hard if you don't know the actual strategy to beat the, the mission. Get Mitch's bike and get out of there. Okay. Hello. You've been... nothing. You've been... Is this even his bike? It is? Or not? It is his bike, I guess. Wait, no, it's not his bike, is it? Have I been punked? Because the marker is telling me to go back to the stairs. I think I got baited. Can you make this in a Faggio? In the rain? Let's see. I think I've made this. Yeah, dude. Okay, now let's try again. Where is the bike? Where bike? Bike? Bike. There it is. I should have known. I should have known. Yeah, the Faggio is fucking mental. I did not expect to make that, especially in a... Especially in... what's it called? In rain. That marker is massive, what the fuck? Why is it so big? Cool. This wasn't too bad. Now, publicity tour is interesting, because it's already a gimmick mission. 
So I'm curious what other gimmicks are involved. It's like, if you hit the brakes, you blow up. If you don't, if you, if you let go of Accelerate, you blow up. Explode along with your big airy asses. For me, pal. You've got to save the okay. band. I'm getting bored of this. Just keep a pedal to the metal. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh fucking Christ! Wait, can I do this? Oh, I can. Kind. Wait, can I? Wait, what? I still died? Hold on. Does the does the pause and pause thing work? I couldn't even tell if it worked or not. Because it was so drunk. I I think it worked. Hold on. I think I can regain control with this. Yeah, I can. Okay. The drunk camera is still annoying, but... Awesome. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. As long as I just don't get angry drivers fucking spinning me out like that, that would be great. I'm getting bored of this. Just keep the pedal to the metal. Go and find the bomb. Can we just drive around all day? I would get pulled. I don't think this will be too hard, otherwise. The bomb may be in the engine. Please stop to get. We're all going to die. I'm going to get pushed. I'm even going to do fucking pussy straps as well. Hey mate, aren't you scared of things coming? Get him away. You have to go quite a bit faster as well. I think. coming out here. That's no vodka. That's boomshine. Uh, not really. It feels about the same. But yeah, like, if you're ever curious how to beat this casually, the key is when you're doing this strategy to drive all the way down, you don't drive full speed. Because if you drive full speed, you run out of road at the end and you die. But if you just slowly tease all the way down the road, then the bomb will be defused by the time you reach the end of the road. That's the that's the five head strategy. Just like this. So you could just piss chill and sort of finish. I should have dumped you lot when I had the chance, man. Glory seeker. Capitalist! I've been carrying you for years. Shut up, you muppet! Big screaming girl. Aye, shut it and pull a wire. Which wire? This one! No! Also, I guess you can just replay okay. to make this easy as well. Tommy, man. Nice one. Rock and roll, man. And we got a kick to go to. I guess replay would have been way faster. Do abuse. Oh, fast. Oh, fast. Oh, fast. Have you finished with our ball? Can you imagine if I flipped then and fucking blew myself up after all that? No fun. Sorry for being successful, I guess. Is it a crime to be this good at games, you know? I'm trying my hardest, but... What can I say? I'm just a huge fucking loser who plays this game way too much. Dude, great concert, bro. Whoa, the cars are like... Sideways, dude.